November 29th, 2011. How to brush your GSD. Manfred von Richthofen is two and a half months old. And I got Mexicans outdoors doing some stupid repairs on my apartment, like the keypad at 24-7, 365. Anyways. <clears throat> So I've started brushing him since like two or three days. He start, started getting, getting used to it. I uh, just wanted to show the brush and like, Manfred, he likes it. Okay, Manfred. So this is the first brush, which I find to be really effective. It's by Oster. Good quality and puppy proof. If you look at the brush, you can see that he loves to bite it. So you want a brush that's gonna stand up to the biting. This is the second brush. It looks like a human or a slash a girl hairbrush. You see the pins with the with the heads on it, very gentle. And it takes out quite a bit of fur. Again, you can see the bite marks on it. Pretty effective. So these are the two brushes that Manfred likes. I want to show you a third brush. Hold on. Manfred, behave yourself. This is the infamous slicker brush. You see that? I do not use it. People recommend that I use it, <clears throat> but honestly, I've spoken to my breeder and I've spoken to a couple of dog owners in Beverly Hills, and they are of the opinion that it is not required, especially for a short head breed like Manfred. <clears throat> also, my breeder hadn't heard of Furminator and on the GSD forums they said the Furminator was not something I should use. Manfred started off with some kind of like, you know, after 10 days I got him. He got a bath the day I got him on 10th November. Then he got a bath <clears throat> maybe five days later because he was so messing around my house. But after that I have not given him a bath because people told me not to. Maybe, you know, puppies don't need a lot of baths. But I was concerned about his fur because it was getting a bit matted and there were flakes. If you look at his fur right now, for a baby this his age who's going to shed his fur, this fur is amazing. It's black and shiny as you can see. He's a healthy, happy puppy. So what are my secrets? My secrets are pretty simple. First and foremost, uh, my breeder recommended that I give him some extra virgin olive oil in his food. So just add maybe a couple of tablespoons of that in his dry food. That's good. And apart from that, he needs omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. So organic flax oil from Trader Joe's. You can see the, I don't know if you can see it, the omega-3 fatty acid and the omega-6 fatty acids are substantial in the flax oil. What my breeder said was that, Mon, uh, that you know, she used to give flax oil to her show dogs and her show horses and that made their fur very perfect. I think that's good advice. Also one of my secrets is that I just rub his coat with extra virgin olive oil. I just give him a massage, maybe once a week or something like that. Now, here's the actual fun part. See, Manfred loves to play with his brush. So he's playing with one, I'm brushing him with the other. And he reaches and grabs the second one. So I go back to the first. See, he likes it, okay? I mean, if he didn't like it for a frisky two and a half month old puppy, he would be yelping and shouting and, you know, be all over the place. He's used to it. And right now I can't, you know, since I have one hand busy, I can't really do a good job of brushing him, but you get the idea. Oh, Pretty effective, pretty healthy, and good for the baby puppy. Well, that's all, folks. Thank you so much. One more video featuring the famous Baron Manfred von Richthofen der Lode. Take care. Manfred. All right. There's a gorgeous puppy. Say bye, Manfred. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.